Graves' disease and thyroid eye disease are two separate disease processes. Um, they're both autoimmune processes, uh, the body essentially creating infl inflammation and an inflammatory response. Uh, Graves' disease is typically associated with that process happening in the thyroid gland and um, the high thyroid levels most commonly. Now, thyroid eye disease is a separate autoimmune condition. Um, it's most commonly seen in patients who have Graves' disease. It's, it's quoted to be somewhere between 20 to 50% of patients with Graves' disease will develop thyroid eye disease or sometimes referred to as TED or TED. Thyroid eye disease is an inflammatory process that occurs in the orbits, so the area around the eyes. And you get this inflammatory response that causes swelling and inflammation in the muscles behind the eyes, the fat behind the eyes, and the eyelid muscles that open the eyes. And so that gives all the telltale signs and symptoms of, of TED or thyroid eye disease. Um, so the most common things being um, eyelid retraction, meaning the, the upper and the lower eyelids kind of pull away and you see more of the eye than, than you used to see. Um, and that can, that can take patients down a path of uh, dryness because the eyes don't close and don't blink properly. They can get red and irritated and, and the vision can become blurry from that dryness. That happens in about 90% of patients with, with thyroid eye disease. The second most common thing, because those muscles behind the eyes are swelling, is that the eyeballs can push out of the eye sockets and you get this bulging appearance to the eyes. And that happens in around 50 to 60% of patients. And then the third thing that we, we tend to think about is double vision. Again, because those muscles behind the eyes are getting inflamed, the, they may not move correctly together. The eyes may not move correctly together. And so patients may see two images instead of one. And that happens in about half of patients with, with this disease, with, with TED. So those are kind of the, the telltale signs and symptoms that all relate to the inflammatory process that happens in the orbit. And I think the real key that, that we were trying to get out, you know, in Graves Disease Awareness Month is uh, it's, it's really important to understand Graves is separate than thyroid eye disease. They, they do require separate specialists to treat them, endocrinologists for Graves disease ophthalmologists, particularly oculoplastic specialists and neuro-ophthalmologists for thyroid eye disease. So that's a key, I think a key point to get out to, to your viewers.